Hi everyone, welcome back to the Gradebook tutorial part 4. In this video, we're going to look at how the final columns like overall total grade, attainment levels and effort key can be added into our gradebook. So let's start. In the previous videos, we have learned how to add a continuous assessment and final exam uh, columns. So we have 40% uh, of continuous assessment here and 60% of uh, final exam here. Now we need to uh, calculate term to uh, columns. So let's start now. I am going to find, first I'm going to find the sum of 40% uh, of CA and 60% of uh, final exam. So for that, I'm going to add term to total. So I'm not going to keep it inside any group as these are final columns. I'm going to keep it outside the uh, groups. Now, this is the sum of the two columns which we specified. So we can continue. We can choose uh, CA weightage 100% out of 100% and final exam weightage 100%. These 100% columns are 40% uh, which is converted into 100%. That's why it is chosen like that. Now, let's continue. So we, now we have the term to total here. You can see that this 60 and this 40 added up into uh, 100. So like that the other columns as well. Now we need to uh, add another column which is uh, the term one total this year we are not we, do, we have not created any uh, what grade book for term one actually so we have uh, the values in spr so we need to enter it manually into this uh, grade book that's why we are going to add the term one column as an assessment column so it's manual then term one total Position in the trial. It's, it, it is out of 100 actually. So now we have uh, term 2 total, which is calculated, and term 1 total, which we need to enter. So I am going to enter some sample values here. This can be 93. So now Next step is to calculate the total of these two, the sum of these two. But when we calculate the sum, this term 2 total is out of 100 and term 1 is out also out of 100. So the sum will be out of 200. But you know when we have to calculate the grade, the, the total must be out of 100. So, so rather than uh, adding it up by using the sum formula, we are going to choose a different method for this. So we're going to go to add calculated column where this is overall total. Here it's in trial calculation. Here be careful that I'm going to choose average weighted. So by adding it up automatically it will be converted into uh, hundred percent now this is again rounded up as one or zero then here I'm going to choose term two total and term one total together and finish here you can see that these two totals added and which is divided by two that is how the overall total is calculated now we need to add the overall grade for that i'm choosing add calculate column where the name can be grade only as we have given a, a ca grade specifically a ca grade so this can be a grade where the transpose element must be great like i told before then the calculation 
can type can be formula builder rounding to zero then here you need to choose overall total which is already out of 100 so no more modification in the formula needed you can finish it here you can see that uh, the grade column ca came with values to convert it into the grades we can transpose it into the grade here the grades came the next step is to add the attainment level same like how we did for grade we can add attainment level so attainment level uh, this is in trial and the transpose element will be attainment level other than grade here then again the formula builder is that's the calculation time is type is formula builder rounding to zero again and here in the formula part you need to choose overall total again keep in mind that if uh, when you calculate the grade or attainment level if the uh, the chosen column is not out of 100 you need to modify your uh, formula which convert that into 100 So we have attainment level as well. Let's transpose it. So now we have attainment level here. The final column to include into our grade book is effort key. To add the effort key, we should have this table of reference. So uh, read this carefully. Then let's go back and add the effort key column here. To add the effort key column we are actually entering the effort key manually that's why we are choosing add assessment column you can choose manual entry type and write the name as effort short name is also the same and the position is trial where the editing has read only now we don't have any maximum value to choose there we can press next and finish You can see that in the workbook view, you can see uh, the effort key column has come here. Each time when you enter the effort key, we need to look at this table, the reference. So if you have any doubt in this table, we can keep that table here as a comment in the cell. We have an option in the gradebook to give comment for a specific, uh, table, specific cell. So how can we do that? To add a comment into a specific cell we can choose this button and after choosing the button we need to choose the the cell into which we need to add the comment here we are going to add that details so i have those details here in a word document so let me copy and paste it here in the comment part and i can press add comment so by pressing that that comment came here under this cell so anytime after that you can close this window by pressing that button again now anytime if you have any doubt regarding the cell or the effort key uh, table you can select this you can press this button where you have those comments uh, with the explanation here so like that you can choose the comment and here you can enter the comments here like one this can be three and one here so that's all about a creation of a great book hope you have enjoyed the video thank you